I'm not listening to anything until I see you start eating. Is that clear, bud? Eating has commenced. Try chewing some, too. Sit down, Mom. Jack, we're in a hurry, and I still haven't finished putting on my face. But you always say presentation is everything. Okay, I'll give you A for effort. But we've been over this a million times. You haven't even heard my hypothesis. I'm ready to be responsible for a puppy because I've learned many valuable lessons from my previous experiments. They weren't experiments, Jack. They were pets. And they've all died. Nothing's made it through the first week with you. That hamster, and then the rabbit, and even that lizard. Let's not lose sight of the facts, Mom. The hamster ran away. Yeah, because you left the cage door open, Jack. I'm not even sure that I trust you with a fish at this point. Oh, listen, honey. I I know how badly you want a dog, but maybe having a pet isn't something that you're ready for. I can prove I'm ready. I know I can. Okay. I'll think about it. But you've got to give me some time, and that means not asking me every 20 minutes for a dog. Deal? Deal. Okay, I gotta go. Wait! I saw you on World of Warcraft last night. But you never made it into Ice Crown Citadel. Guess you couldn't get a 25-man raid to take you there. Your life is so sad. Leave me alone, Mitch. Categorically impossible. We're walking into the same class. Have you done your science fair project yet? Science fair is six months away. My mom says that early is on time. On time is late, and late is idiotic. I have already completed two experiments. I just need to decide which will be yours by a wider margin. Of course, if you make a lame project like you did last year, I should have no trouble beating you. My project rocked. Who else do you know who made actual lightsabers? Yeah, and then set the judge's hair on fire. Smooth move, Jar Jar. The science fair is the least of my concerns right now. Glad to see you've accepted defeat early. Class, as you all know, tomorrow's worm dissection has been cancelled due to numerous complaints to the office. Worm killing is inhumane, Mr. Franklin. Yes, I'm well aware of your feelings on the matter, Sally. Now, moving on. Those poor, innocent creatures. Stop being such a drama queen. It's in the name of science. They're worms. <sighs> worms are the dogs of the bug world. If Mr. Franklin asked you to dissect your dog in the name of science? Or your dog, or yours, or yours. I don't have a dog. You'd probably all do it. But I couldn't dissect my sweet little Phoebe, which is why I can't harm a worm. <sighs> Can I go to the bathroom, Mr. F? Please. For your homework, I am giving you some wire and two metal rods. Attach the wire to the rods on one end and to the terminals of a six-volt battery on the other. Find some healthy soil, stick the rods in the ground. You will be shocked by what happens. Bring a few to class, and we will see what else we can learn from the wonderful world of worms. Touch it. Come on, you can do it. I'm so proud of you. You kept them alive for a week. 
Jack. Class is over, Jack. I'm gonna go on Earth the mother loads of worms, Mr. Franklin. <laughs> Welcome to the surface, guys. You're gonna love it up here. I promise. I've got big plans for you. Oh, man. Not already. Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Sorry about that, guys. Rule number one, aerobic respiration. Have some O2. Two holes enough for you guys? I think so. <laughs> Let's get you guys home. like the leader of the group. I'm gonna call you Slick. From here on, you're gonna be called Funky. I'm almost done. You guys need some water? And then this will be home moist home. Did you hear that? Don't worry. I'm on it. Stay here. Stupid raccoons. Mom's gonna be mad. glasses thank you think yeah. 
Good zombie. Good boy. I'm Jack. What's your name? Uh. We're gonna have to get you a better name than that. Right, pal? go, buddy. This will have to do for now. Yeah. We're going to have to clean you up before you can come in the house. Mom says no dirty pets inside. And don't take this the wrong way, but you smell like Rico Rama. Yeah. You need a name. How about Cheeky? You'd like that? Yeah. Close, but not quite. Cheeky. Yeah. That's all right, Cheeky. You'll get it. You like it, Cheeky? Take that as an affirmative. Oh, you're saying eat, aren't you? You're hungry. I'll go get some food. Stay here. She sees you like this. Quick. Ow. Come on. Get out. What on earth did you do to this kitchen, Jack? What is that awful smell? Jack, get your butt in here pronto. Oh, hey, Mom. I was uh, just, you know. I, I can't even look at you right now. That's how upset I am. Making a mess like this is not called being responsible, Jack. Don't you growl at me. I'm sorry, Mom. I was about to clean it up. Now, less talking, more doing. Oh. This cheese, it expired three weeks ago. Ranch dressing, it expired last May. Oh, this lettuce is bad. Lemons are moldy. This is a ticking time bomb, Jack. Jack, I told you to keep the freezer door closed. You know what, Mom? This is my mess. Let me clean it up. You've had a hard day at work. Come on. Yeah, I'm tired. You have to stay out here. I'm your master now. So listen to what I say. You have to be a good zombie. And eating my mom is definitely bad zombie territory. So no more of that. I'll see you in the morning. Not allowed in the house, remember? Bad zombie. Bad. For me? Is this supposed to say Jack? Jack. 
Good boy, Cheeky. Good boy. You're still in bed? Uh-huh. What's that smell? Did something die in here? Uh-uh. Well, I don't want to know. No. Get dressed. Oh, no. I told you not to eat mom. This necklace with matching earrings are only available in limited numbers, so act fast. Are not gonna last long. Beautiful in the evening. Okay. Mr. F? Yes. Can I go to the bathroom? Sally, this is becoming an everyday thing with you. Going to the bathroom is a normal, everyday thing. You're a science teacher. You should know that. Fine. Hurry back. We're discussing insect digestion today. Whatever. What's the matter, Mitch? Are you worried that I might have come up with a better science fair project than you? I tossed and turned all night. Well, if your science fair project is better than bringing a dead guy back to life. That's right. I said dead guy. I have a pet zombie, and he's awesome. You're lying. There's no way. Come by my place after school. I'll prove it to you. Jack, bitch, pay attention to the lecture. All right, today we're going to discuss the unique beauty of the Earth and why these things are the beating heart. Something different this no, week. No, no, no. Meiosis and mitosis. We looked at DNA replication and recombination. Not through cell phones. Today we're going to do a little bit of dissection. Sally's track record for overreacting. She probably just saw a spider. Or a dead guy. Please, back to your seats. Meet me in the hazelnut grove behind my house. Okay, Mitch. That includes you. Please have a seat. Now. No, Cheeky. Help! Please! Kill that thing! I can't kill him. He's already dead. That's not possible! You're right. None of this is possible, which means no one will believe you if you try to tell them. Come on, Cheeky. Come on, Cheeky. Kill Cheeky. I want Mitch to admit that I'm intellectually superior to him. You're not just my pet. You're my creation. This is important. Stop! We're not playing right now. Cheeky! Where are you? Cheeky! Here, Cheeky! Here, boy! Oh, gee, you mental defect! Hey, I have an A average. I have an A plus average. Where's your walking corpse? I don't know. He was here a second ago. Yeah, which is code for he doesn't exist? Not true. You're like the David Blaine of mathletes. All flash and no flashcards. A hypothesis that will never be proven. You put the sub in lack of intellectual substance. I know how to see if your brain is so spectacular as you say it is. Cheeky. He's kind of a connoisseur of brains, being a zombie and all. Please, have mercy. Don't eat my brain. It's my most prized possession. Admit that I'm smarter than you. But you're not. Admit that I'm smarter than you, or we're having brain tartare for dinner. OK, I swear you're smarter than me. You're the smartest kid in school. And you can't tell anyone about my zombie. Not before the science fair. OK, I won't tell. I promise. Let him go. <laughs> Okay, Cheeky, let's go home.
you doing? Let me go. Thank you.